Tanya Goldberg. This is Boyana Novakovic. And we are... Right on Theatre. Theatre company, not a band. That's right. Independent theatre makers, citizens of the world. And we are bringing to you the story of Mary McLean by, by herself. herself. And we want you to come and see this because we would like you to know about the greatest genius you've, you've never, never heard, heard of. of. Mary McLean, for whom the world contains not a parallel. And we know this. We're convinced of this because, because she's, she's very odd, odd. Quite odd. Reclusive, self-proclaimed genius, in need of an editor. Who wrote voluminous, rambling diaries, which Boyana has taken and butchered to suit her own petty tastes. No, to suit the petty taste of the masses. Right, the masses. You. you. So come and see it. It's for you. Uh, well, why it's should... perfect for the Griffin. Perfect. You should come and see it at the stables because, well, Mary McLean lived in New York and worked with Pulitzer and Rockefeller and... Friends with Gertrude Stein. Important people like that. Hung out in Chicago. She wasn't also a stranger to little backroom alley type places. Speakeasies. Bars, dodgy... Cobblestone streets. She liked drinking. She liked men. She stopped. She stopped drinking at nineteen. She didn't stop the men. Mm. She liked absinthe. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And, and liked seeing people on absinthe. Yeah. So we thought that the Griffin would be appropriate for her. Small, lots of artsy Back alley, people, King's interesting, open-minded, excited masses coming to hear the long small cry of her little human soul in the night going like this